Welcome back guys, Sherry here. Now I've had some of you guys ask me where to get eyeballs. They're not hard to get guys and you can get them in quantity, but you just gotta know how to get them and where to get them. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it. Okay, so bats come out at night, guys. Now I'm not sure the exact times, but you can always just build yourself a fire and sit until night. And this is when you need to hunt them. Now let's say it's during the day and it's raining and you don't have anywhere to build a fire. Well, I have made myself a stone slab and a stake, which I just use auto build for. That way, if it's raining, I can always build myself a fire and I can continue hunting. Now, I also make myself a hovercraft when I'm doing this. Now, guys, the hovercraft that I use may not work for you, so you use whichever one works for you. But let me show you the one that I use, and then I'm going to show you why I like this one in particular. Now, all I use is two fans and a steering stick. I will take one of the fans and I lay it face down flat and then I'll take the steering stick and I put it at an angle kind of tilted up towards me and then I'll just take the other fan and I attach it to the other side of the steering stick and I just kind of make sure it's proportioned but let me show you why some of you may not like this hovercraft if this hovercraft is laying on a flat surface it's easy to get on and control but let's take it over here to this heel if for some reason it's sitting on a hill and it's tilted towards you, you can't really get on it and control it. You'll end up having to use your ultra hand, adjust it a little bit, and try to jump on. So some of you guys may not like this particular one. So like I said, again, you use whichever one works best for you, but let me show you why you might like this one. As you just saw, this hovercraft is capable of just going straight up into the air without even going forward. So you know when you hit those rock walls and you get stuck because you're on a hovercraft that just continuously wants to go forward? Well, this one, all you have to do is pull back on your left stick on your controller and this hovercraft will go straight up into the air. But then if you push forward, it will go forward, but it will also land on the ground. So you can literally just dive, nose dive down and hit the ground. Or you can kind of hold it in the middle and you can just skim right over top of the surface. And so you really kind of can control this one a lot better than any of the other ones that I have tried to use. At least that has been my experience. And for those of you that are not aware of this, once you build something, if you go into your ultra hand and you hit the Y button, you can set your build as a favorite. That way you don't ever lose it. And when trying to control these Zoni devices, guys, and if your batteries are depleting extremely fast, you can get what's called the Zoni armor. If you don't know where to get it, you can click the link in the upper right hand corner. I'll also leave a link in the description. And this will just help your batteries not drain so fast. But now let's go find these eyeballs. Now guys, what you want to do is take a picture of one of the keys. That way we can set our sensor to them. And what you're going to notice when you target them is in the upper right hand corner, it's going to tell you exactly where to find an item that you are trying to target. Now, if you don't know where to get the sensor or how to get the sensor, you can click the link in the upper right hand corner. I'll also leave a link in the description. So let me show you how I do this. And then I'm going to show you my hunting grounds. Like I will literally make a circuit and do this after every blood moon if I'm running low on eyeballs. And I get all kinds of eyeballs guys okay so I'm flying around in the areas that my sensor told me to go to and I'm not really seeing anything nothing's going off on my sensor and then all of a sudden my sensor goes off and it tells me that there are these keys that are below me and as you can see there's a whole group of them so I literally just jump off the hovercraft and I will use bomb flowers. Now guys, if you're running low on bomb flowers and you would like to see how to get unlimited bomb flowers, you can click the link in the upper right hand corner. I'll also leave a link in the description. Now once you kill them, just go collect all of your eyeballs. But there's something else that I would like to point out about the keys. Now I use the blood moon as an indicator to go back and go hunting for these guys again. However, they have a chance to start respawning when you leave the area. The blood moon is just a good indicator. And something else that I have noticed is they don't always respawn in the exact same spot. They may respawn very close to this spot, but they don't always respawn in the exact same spot. And they like to fly either over a cluster of trees or just right next to a cluster of trees. So if you see a cluster of trees and it's supposed to be in the area where you can find them, Usually that might be a good place to look. And don't forget about the caves either, guys. Bats will come out of the caves. 
Now, once it becomes 5 a.m., you want to build yourself a fire and sit until nighttime because the keys will start disappearing at 5 a.m. Okay, so here are the spots on the map that I will typically hit. And like I said, guys, just do this after every blood moon. It's a good indicator to remind yourself to go back and harvest these eyeballs if that's what you're looking for. And again, they will not respawn in the exact same place all the time, but I have noticed they will respawn close to every spot that I have marked here on the map. But if you would like to see how to max your batteries, kill mini bosses, and make rupees all at the exact same time, click here. And I really appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoy content like this, show me with a like. If you're new to the channel, I hope you consider subscribing. And I'll just catch you guys next time.